Hello, my kobolds and creatures, and welcome to episode 20 of Age of Scales, our solo survival, single player survival thing. <laughs> I should really write that down so I don't like repeat words. Anyway, we started today's episode by just building up our newest building, the Honey Farm. It's not a bad start, is it? A few things I do want to change though. I want to change out some of these trap doors um, so the planter boxes have spruce. There's some detailing to do, but there is one thing we really must get. I'm pretty sure my supplies are in here. Nope, I will just find the supplies I need for this next task and catch up with you. I am pretty sure they are in here. There we are, campfires, that's what we're after. Because we'd already made a mistake and kind of messed up one of our um, beehives we had stored just over here. Let's just roll that clip. Yep, we need to come over here and find all these different, what are they called, honeycombs, beehives that have been left behind from the trees. So if I think I'm doing this right, it's that and then a uh, I, I, I don't know, can I just destroy it with a fist? No. Now, a few things I'm, I was lacking. I've got a silk pickaxe now, so I can hopefully do this right. I've never messed with bees. I've never messed with more of these fanciful... Um, is that? No, that's the fortune one. These fanciful elements. Okay, so we've sm we're smoking out the beehive. And we've got the beehive. We have a bee nest. I don't even think there's any bees left in that. And I should have used silk touch to pick that up. But there we go. We have one beehive in our inventory. And that is the first job for today. We're going to go around all these forests. We're going to pick up as many beehives as we can. And hopefully we can get ourselves a little of a candle shop. A bit of a honey setup. That is today's first job. Uh, okay. Uh... We've only got two bees nests, including that first one we picked up. We've not gotten far, but already I've just stumbled across something in the distance. And let's go see what that is. It's something made of stone. It's in the distance. And I don't know my monuments that well. I don't keep up with updates. <laughs> oh. Knowing my luck, this will be nothing. There will be nothing here. And I'm just wasting my time swimming out here, but we'll see. Oh, musty cobble. We shall see. You know what? Mossy Cobble's not actually bad in itself. Oh, we have a chest full of coal and an unbreaking fishing rod. Uh, I, I, just, uh, I was hoping for something a bit... Well, something a bit more. Oh, excuse me. Um, muted coughing, but... um, Oh, let's see how this does. The weather is murdering me today. It is too warm. It's going to hit 26. I, I don't want that. Ugh, I, I can't cope with the heat. But back to the bumblebee harvest. So, let's do an update, shall we? We have... What do we have here? A good six bees nests. And I've made sure there are some bees in some of them at least. Next, on our journey, we decided, we actually just stumbled upon another village. Which, we're quite lucky to do so. And it seems we have a few villagers still alive in the area. Ooh, a cat too. That would be good to have a cat. Anti-creeper stuff. Ooh, that's something I want actually. I want a map. I want to make some maps of the place and what a better time than after picking that up. Uh Fletcher's table, let's sorry, you know you, you know what, you're right. I don't need a Fletcher's table, do I? I can just make one. You can have that back. Judging me. <laughs> uh yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a rummage through the village. Rude. You shouldn't be here. Ow. Now I'm on fire. <laughs> oh. And we have blacksmiths. And 
Oh, the air. Would you? I can't see. I can't see over the flames. Uh, close the door. Did you see that villager? Yeah, you. Oh, yeah. Would you like to trade nothing for nothing? I think they've bugged out. That's not good. Oh, hello, Mr. Golem. Just pillaging your uh, town. Nothing to worry about. Not here to kill the villagers. Just here to steal off them. I think there may be an issue. Where are the other villagers? Let me find a trader and just check something. Hey. Oh dear. You have no trades. Oh, there's a bee's nest there. A bee's nest. A hive. Let me put some smoke. The smoke comes out the top. No smoke's coming out the top. What, what have I done wrong? You know what, let's just do it and hope for the best. It might be empty, it might not be. Who knows? But more bees are always better. I know we've probably at least got two, so we can farm them up at least and things will start moving. I don't think there's actually anything here and we've bugged out the villagers somehow. Um Yeah, you're bugged out. Uh maybe if I remove that. I don't want to have anything in my inventory, I don't want to accidentally... Uh, you know what, if I put that down, will I fix your trades? Will that fix your trades? Yes, it fixes their trades. Okay, so I just sort of have to reset all their workstations for it to work. Well, at least I know that. So I can put your composter back. There you go. Take my map back, and you can be a farmer again, and hopefully... I fixed you, yeah, you're back to being an actual farmer again. Not going to work with villagers today, it's just I want to make sure I haven't broken all of them. But I can fix the ones that have broken at least, I know that now. We're still on the bee hunt, I at least want eight, so I just need one more. So I'll go fetch a bee, and I'll be back. Ooh, yes. Be there, I just saw one fly inside. You can fly in as well? Yes! Yes, that means there's two in there already pollinating up. So now we do that and total bee location. Oh, I think that means it was a full beehive and I just broke that. And there's another hive here. Well, I might as well grab as many as I can, shouldn't I? I'm gonna get this guy, get my campfire, and I'm gonna head back on home. Oh, Get back home and work on that house a little more. Well, with bees all collected, it's time to move on, isn't it? I did get started trying to do this in a third person time lapse, but I don't know if something just felt wrong, something felt off. And I think it's just sometimes things like that can be a little too impersonal, maybe? That might be the way to put it. And if I'm gonna keep doing this Minecraft thing for a while, you lot are going to want to know a bit more about me, a bit more of my styling. And yes, I do ramble a lot and you're going to get a bit of a ramble now, but you need to embrace it that if you're going to be watching this stuff going forward, there's going to be a ramble, there's going to be a rant and times where I just completely sprawl out words that don't really make much sense. But that's my style, isn't it, after all? Anyone who's been watching me long enough already knows you're not going to get much cohesive information out of me. I'm just going to talk and hope for the best. So, our thing here is to work on the bee farm purely because I want to use candles. I know that they were added in some time ago, but I've just never used them. I've not used most features. I still stick to the old basics features. And I know that comes from originally. I Play, not playing on Minecraft yet. Yeah, I started my uh, voxel journey not in Minecraft, but on those older um, mimic mimics of <laughs> how to describe them older mimics of Minecraft. You know that total miner, that fortress craft, and that's all because though 
I when I first started playing, it was in the era of consoles before Minecraft actually came to console. I've only started recording though since I moved over to PC, and I have been having to learn how to play on PC, which is why sometimes I'll misclick quite a bit because I'm still just not that used to using a mouse. So, what we're building here is just our little staging area for the honey farm. I thought we needed a bit more of an outdoor space that we want to work with. And the best thing to do, I think, is to sort of shave this bit of dirt down a little more and get started on just building up a little more. I think I only want it like an extra block up, so just half a block from what we already have there. And then we need to figure out a uh, banister type thing. <laughs> oh, I'm very good at commentary, aren't I? The word thing get used a lot. Yes, where was I? I sidetracked my own self. Okay, yeah, so we need to figure out a banister design that we can use throughout the city. You know, because we're going to get those times when something comes to a hard stop and we're going to need to like make a bit of a retaining wall and on top of one a barrier that just signifies the end of that bit. You know what, I'm going to pull this out a smidge there, make up some dirt and put that in there. Maybe even pull that a little further back, like so, and throw in some more dirt. And that's all I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take today's episode a little slower. Because I have been watching a few more YouTubers here and there. So those from the multiplayer server I joined. Some just old YouTubers I need to really catch up on, really. And everyone seems to be slowing down a bit. And honestly, I can agree. I, I mean, I'm only so many episodes into this. But this one episode a week thing that I'm trying, that's going to lead to burnout eventually, isn't it? I mean, I need to sort of plan for the future and know that... It, as a creative person, you know, I make the thumbnails, I play the Minecraft, you know, creative endeavours through and through. Burnout is inevitable, especially when you're trying to burn the candle at both ends. So, I need to pace myself and essentially slow it down and try and avoid it entirely. There is just a lot going on outside of the game at the moment and it's like, I have to pace myself or else things will come to an end. And honestly, I don't want them to. I mean, I didn't start doing Minecraft because, oh, you'll become a famous Minecrafter and this, that, the other, get money from YouTube. That's a pipe dream. Let's admit it. If you're going in, you can't be doing it with that mentality because you're just, you're never going to get there. Or if you do want to get there, it's going to take you a heap long of a time to even get even a little bit of an audience. I mean, I've tried other freelance stuff in the past. Before doing Minecraft and all these YouTube stuff, I was actually a freelance artist for a while, just doing random bits and pieces for people. And um, it's hard going into any freelance kind of work. You know, you're having to set your own schedule. Nobody else holds you accountable at the end of the day. And that's kind of the biggest problem with freelance and any type of work, you're gonna fall into problems, you're gonna hit these caveats and things that you need to sort of prepare for, and you are the only one that can really get you out of those problems. So, pacing myself, setting my hours, that's gonna be a thing going forward, which means I might actually not record on any set schedule anymore. I think trying to force myself to make an episode every week that is a plan for disaster, especially when I want to experiment more. There's no room to experiment if I'm rushing to get episodes out. You know, I'm having to reuse the same thumbnails because I just don't have the time to make thumbnails. And I do think that makes the channel suffer. So I think I am going to spend some more time. I'm still going to try and get this episode out in a week, though. Just this one, so that people know what's happening before I change tactics. Because... This is a small YouTube channel after all, and I need to sort of find my niche, find my rhythm, as it were. Um, do I want... I want a bit of a retaining wall on the back here, but I don't know where to start it from. I think here, this level here, I'm just going to throw in some cobblestone. 
Cobblestone is the, is one of your like basic starter items, isn't it? I don't like using it because of that, but you know it does have a place when you're building. It's getting dark, but let's just carry on. We can finish up the ramble, finish up at least building the staging area up, and get started. You know, I'm thinking it might be worth me uh, branching out and doing some uh, streaming to figure out how all that works, because this slower rambling style. I can do that, just open up, do an hour, and you're done. But when it comes to video editing, there is just so much that goes into that. You know, a lot of extra work. You know, because you're worried too much and you try and perfect the episode every way you can. You know, you, you spend hours audio balancing, trying to get some visuals, you have to go back and do all your replay segments. And it's a lot. And I'm not saying that I shouldn't be doing it, you know, this is a hobby, this is something I like doing, but it's, with any hobby, with any activity, you do too much too quick, you'll burn out, and that is what I'm avoiding, and I think I'm just going around in circles, aren't I, at this point, saying the same thing over and over. That is what I do, that is how it goes, and who knows, I might do the complete opposite, I might make longer episodes, and they'll just be slow rambles like this. You know what, I think that's enough of a staging area, isn't it? Let's get some sleep, and I'll have to move on to the next section. So there we go, one beehive frame thing all in place. I also decided that whilst I was here I was going to put a bit more of a doorway and a windowsill on the front of the house, just so they open up a bit better than the other houses. This is a uh, workshop as well, and so you know, a bigger entrance makes sense and we're following through in here. Did I have to stop the recording because it was getting a little cramped in here, we had to move a few things to accommodate the roof, but now we have our bees that are all currently hiding, but there is about four of them I think now, which isn't too bad. And we're starting to get candles and a nice little stash of honeycomb and string from our spider spawner. So we can use candles in decorations going forwards. That'll be quite good. Still more to do, there's always more to do. We want to detail the interior, get a fireplace, do all this, but honestly, I don't have the time to get an episode out. If I'm going to do this, I need to kind of cut it early. I didn't do everything I wanted this episode, sadly. There was a lot to do, but sadly just not enough time to do it. So, I think, well, it's not been a bad episode, has it? We've mostly been dealing with bees, doing some odd jobs, and we had a bit of a, a very big ramble train catch up. Sadly, that is all we have time for though, isn't it? So let's go up to the top of the tower and do an ending like we always do. And there you have it. Our little honey house behind us. About 80% done. It needs detailing on the upper floors, a few bits and pieces. But I'm glad we have another chimney in town now. I always think they add a lot more to, t to your little builds. Having those moving elements, those particle effects and such. But we are grossly out of time at this point, and there is so much to do. So, I'm going to have to leave it here. Thank you all for watching. It's certainly been a very different episode than usual. But hopefully next time we can sort of balance things out a little more and get more done. I am planning on doing some end raiding, getting some shulkers and such, so we can start building more quicker. That way I'll have to make less trips to and from my storage houses if I have everything on me. I, I could stop rambling all over again just talking about that, but we don't have time. So, 
Thank you all for watching my Cobalt and Creatures, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye!